Next one from Houtla. Again, I'm going to start all the videos. That, that my uh, objective here, I guess, is to show um, the progress or the change that's happened in the two months since the earthquake, which is about, I guess, seven weeks, six, seven weeks since uh, since uh, since I first came here to Houtla. I met a woman, Claudia, who uh, who lived in this house here. And her house was destroyed, and now her house is, they've pretty much cleaned it. Uh, and this is just what's left of it. Um, when we came here a few days after the earthquake, I mean, it was, it was destroyed. It was completely unlivable and, and it pretty much had no walls or ceilings, but now they've, they've, uh, they've taken everything away. And there was another guy who lived that was this was her house here and there was another guy that lived over here I can't remember his name but I talked to him on camera there's a video of it I gotta watch out I don't fall in there um, I guess maybe he's still living in there there's a tent and uh, Claudia had a dog named Nini who I don't see I, I talked to Claudia early she said her dog was over here but I don't know where she is maybe she's up here and this is coming up to the uh the school i took a video of this earlier this is when you come up the street this is the shelter that i was in earlier and this is the school this is the house it's like this earthquake just happened the other day. Here's an overview of the whole school. We're going to continue from uh, Ahudla showing some of the, uh, the changes. Some, some have been really amazing. Everything looks very different. Some of them, it seems like nobody's even uh, set foot in it since the earthquake happened almost two months ago. So, moving on.